All right, so like Meister fans, an old cable classic, a fun movie. This one's called Ruckus, Dirk Benedict and Linda Blair. Let's watch. We have a, uh, well, it's a Vietnam vet, ex-vet. Dirk Benedict plays Kyle, and he's wandering through this Texas town. Johnson asks him if he's been in the service. Basically, he's kind of being hassled a little bit. Ben Johnson's son happened to be lost in Vietnam. And a couple of yokels hassle him on the bridge. He fights back. And all the good old boys are called in along with the sheriff, Richard Farnsworth. But he manages to escape Stealing a police car. He ends up at Linda Blair's house. Can I help you with Jenny, that's Ben Johnson, Ben Johnson's son and daughter-in-law. I didn't know your husband. What about you? They're looking for him. There's some men coming here looking for you. They say you're dangerous. They track him down to Jenny's barn. He escapes again. His name's Kyle Hanson, just like it said on his jacket. He was in a cyclo ward at Army Hospital in Mobile. Looks like he had a pretty rough time in Vietnam. Well, he fashions a bow and arrow. Eventually he comes back to Jenny's. Having fun? We had the most excitement that's hit this county since the Hurricane 68. Anyway, the two of them then go riding. This guy has his sights on Jenny, too. Just about as wild as this fella last time he come home. Lighting it all up, I think we ought to just sit tight. Perhaps this dude will drift on of his own accord, or maybe old Sam will figure out some way to handle this. Well, they're continuing to stalk him, and they know he's in the house. Apparently he cleans up well. What a change. Leave it. The yokels have a posse. Okay, boys. And uh, Deputy's not listening to the sheriff. Look, you see where he's been coming down that little cut right there? Now we're going to take our positions. we got to let him get on this side of the ravine before we let him have it. So don't anybody get excited and blow it. Right. Well, Kyle manages to sneak around them, take some shotgun shells, and uh, make some explosives from it. All without them noticing. As Kyle escapes in one of their trucks, Once he gets a little ways ahead of them, he's going to make him think that uh, he died. A complete screw up from the start to the finish. I told you not to get involved. How in the hell am I going to explain? Well, he ends up going to a carnival with Jenny, and once Jenny goes to get some food or something, he got spotted by the deputy and Cecil. They can take him to some grain mill or something. Why don't we put him up there? 
apparently you plan to kill him. Well, I'm just going to go have some breakfast. <laughs> See, it's kind of like I'm the game warden. And I don't want to get caught trapping nothing out of season, you know what I mean? Oh, hell no. Well, they decide to toy with him a little bit, and they uh, drag him out so he can fight their biggest man. Kyle wins that fight. And he steals a boat. Which leads to a boat chase. Well, then he makes a bunch of Molotov cocktails and starts blowing everything up. They submit. Nick was stripped down of the underwear and sends him off the island, which is owned by Ben Johnson, by the way. Ruckus, also sometimes known as Ruckus in Madoc County. Um, what we have here is a um, Vietnam vet, kind of dirty, kind of wandering into town, um, minding his own business, starts to get hassled, they want him out of town, and they pick on him. Sound familiar? Sounds like Rambo to me, First Blood. Um, this came out, I think, two years before First Blood, though, so, hmm. Anyway, from there, the movie takes a little different turn. Well, actually, it doesn't really. One man against everybody else, and the one man wins. Sounds like first blood to me. But anyway, I digress. Uh, this is a movie that I saw back on cable in the 80s. I saw it quite a bit. I liked it a lot. It's um, just uh, kind of like a exploitation type of thing. Good old boys, that sort of thing. Banjo music. Um, it got a little serious, though, when they actually were attempting to kill him. Um, so ultimately, they want this guy out of town, um, but uh, they can't get rid of him. And then he starts attacking them. He fights back. Uh, he ends up meeting Linda Blair, Jenny. Jenny, um, her husband, was actually lost in Vietnam, and they don't know. Actually, they never found him. They don't, he's uh, it's unknown. He's just presumed dead, put it that way. And as the film progresses, uh, they learn that he actually did die. So, And all the guys in town want a shot at her. And um, uh, But she's kind of smitten with uh, Kyle when she meets him, Dirk Benedict. Um, uh, probably reminds her of her husband. Um, cleans him up. They start, uh, basically a romance. Um, but, uh, the yokels can't let it go. They try to hassle him some more, get rid of him, kill him. At one point, they kidnap him, and they're going to, like, apparently shoot him, kill him, whatever. But he manages to escape out of there, and then they chase him on a boat. He ends up on an island, which is owned by Jenny's, uh, father-in-law. And, uh, they come to the island with their guns and everything, and he's got Molotov cocktails, and he basically smokes them all out. Forces them back to land, tosses their guns in the river, that sort of thing. Ben Johnson comes back and he says, you know, I've never seen, if there's one man who won a war all by himself, that's it. If he wants that worthless island, he can have it. So he's basically letting him have free reign on there. The last movie scene in the movie is Linda Blair kind of waving to him and they're smiling to each other. There you go. That's ruckus. So anyway, um, no nudity. It's probably rated PG. Um, uh, I am very happy to have this on DVD and I'll tell you why, because... Um, it's rare. Uh, this thing is going for 130, 150 bucks if you're looking for it. There are a lot of bootlegs floating around of this as well, bootleg DVDs. I saw some guy on um, eBay a few months ago selling a bunch of them saying not released on DVD, but he's wrong. It has been released on DVD because good old Anchor Bay 
put this thing out back in the early 2000s and uh, being one of my old cable classic films, I had to have it, so I bought it then. I'm very glad I did because I'd pay a lot for it now if I had to. Um, and I probably would, but uh, I don't have to, thankfully. I've had this forever. So anyway, that is Ruckus. Uh, one other quick Ruckus story. Um, not the last time I saw it, because I actually did this on my old channel, but I saw it once before, probably around 2004 or so. I actually was going to Texas with my then wife. She was going to, um, it's kind of like a surprise visit because a friend of hers was having a baby shower and we went down there. And um, I wasn't going to be able to go to the baby shower because I was a boy. Um, and the husband had to go because he was the only boy who could go. So I was basically left in this Texas house in Spring, Texas, all by myself, um, which was cool. And I knew that was going to happen. So I brought a couple movies to watch. And one of them I brought was Ruckus. I figured, you know what? Good old boys, Texas, you know, why not? And I remember it was a hot day outside, but it was air conditioned in the house. It was cool. It was just, it was just an awesome day. It was an awesome feeling. I'm just relaxing on the couch, drinking a soda, watching Ruckus. And it was just really cool experience, really cool day. Great memory. So anyway, that was Ruckus two times ago. Ruckus today was also very good, but I wasn't drinking soda or in Texas. That's Ruckus for you. Anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Watch it. Bye. Good movie.